How do you make your dry information more engaging? Today, I will show you how to create a picture-in-picture -picture video. This makes your video more personal, which helps your audience absorb the information. Before we dive deeper, make sure to subscribe to our channel to keep getting helpful video content, and click on the bell to be notified as soon as it's available. In this video, I'll be using Snagit, which makes it super easy to record yourself and your screen at the same time. If you don't already have Snagit, there's a link in the description for a free trial so you can download and explore. First, open up the Snagit recorder and select the All-in-One tab. Press the big red button and select the region you want to record. Then, choose the video camera icon. By default, your webcam will be turned on. If for any reason it's not, you can select it right here. If you grab your webcam in the preview, you can move it around that way as well, though it does snap to the nearest corner. You can resize it from here as well by simply clicking and dragging the corners. You can even change the shape of your webcam. The two audio options include computer sound, like the beeps and boops of your laptop, as well as the playable audio you might have. Don't want your notifications pinging in your video? Toggle this off. The other option is your microphone. If you are super fancy and have multiple microphones plugged in, you can choose the one you want from the drop down. Always do a mic check. Once you have made your selections for these options, hit the red record button. While recording, if you wanna change the size of the webcam video, you can do so again by dragging the corner of the webcam preview in or out. And to change the placement, click the center of the webcam footage and drag it to where you like. Or if the webcam video is in the way of what you're demonstrating, you can completely turn off your webcam in the middle of a recording by hitting the green webcam icon on the toolbar. When you're all done, hit the stop button. If you started recording and had a few seconds before you were looking at the camera, you can trim those easily in the Snagit editor. And when you're done, your video can be dragged right out of the tray and dropped into whatever folder you like, or export directly from the share menu. And there you have it. In just a few easy steps, you've made your video more engaging and personal. All right, I wanna know, what are you going to record next? Are you going to include picture-in-picture -picture video? Tell us in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, and if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel for more great content. Thanks for watching.